Hi everyone, this is Randy from Cheer Official. And if you're watching this tutorial, you have never built a routine before. So let's walk through how to build your very first routine. When you're at this screen, which is in the 3D game screen, home screen, tap on choreograph. Okay, and in this, in this screen, choreography screen, we'll tap on new routine. And let's just go, let's just call it routine one. All right, tap on start. And what you'll see is that the athletes are all lined up on the side here. So what we'll do to begin is we'll set the start position by clicking on or tapping on start position. And then you'll see that they line up in two uh, lines here. And that's really easy for us to begin. So that's all we're going to do for now. Let's just leave them in that default start position. Okay, let's tap on next. Okay, now we're ready to begin doing some moves. Okay, so why don't we take mark, tap on mark. So all you got to do is tap directly on the athlete. Let's tap on Mark and make him do a toe touch. Okay, so I've got him selected. You see the little green circle around his feet. And let's tap on Next. Okay, now here we can tap and see all the moves that are available to Mark. And in this case, toe touch is unlocked, so it's green. So let's tap on that. So we're going to have him do a toe touch. So then let's tap on Next. And then... Uh, this is to set the direction we want him to do the toe touch. So there's two ways we can set the direction. One is we can uh, select one of these directions, face front, right, back, or left. And the other is we can actually do this slider and you'll see Mark rotating around. So let's just have him do his toe touch to the front right now. So we've selected the direction now we'll tap on next and now we'll preview his toe touch great that looks excellent tap on next now here we're going to select in the routine music which bar and beat we want him to do the toe touch on so in this case let's just do it right at the beginning so it'll be bar one beat one and then we're going to add the move okay so we'll see that the mark is going to do a toe touch at bar one beat one we add the move. It actually saves the routine as we go. So now if I tap on this play button up here, this green play button, we'll see the routine as it, as it is. Great. That's all we have so far in the routine. So we can see that uh, Mark does a move at 1.1 and it goes all the way, I'm sorry, bar 1, beat 1, it goes all the way through bar 1, beat 8. All right, so now let's say we wanted Carrie to do a toe touch. All right, let's just do the same thing. Next, it's already actually pre-selected for us, so just tap next again. Let's tap on F to guarantee that she's gonna go in the front direction. Tap on next again, preview. And then next again, put her at bar one, beat one. And then we'll add the move. Okay, the routine is now saved and routine is named routine one. You can see that down here. And let's hit play. Okay, so now I've created a, a routine, very short, and it just has these two athletes doing something. Um, why don't we have the rest of the athletes also do the toe touch at the same time? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on multi-select and let's go in and select everybody except for Mark and Carrie. Because they're already doing it at bar one, beat one. So we're going to go ahead and just have the rest of them also do it at bar one, beat one. Okay. So next, toe touch. Next, preview it. Okay. Now they're all doing a toe touch at bar one, beat one. And let's watch the routine. Perfect. Okay. Now let's add a little bit of tumbling. Okay. Why don't we have Mark do a... Uh, 
not a back walkover. Let's have Mark do a round off back handspring. Okay, next. Now you'll see that he's gonna, it's gonna actually run him off the mat. So we can do a couple of things here. One is we can tap on the mat in the direction we want him to run. We can see that he won't overrun the mat now. Or we can do it this way by adjusting the slider, or we can do it this way. Now, the problem with right is he's going to run into all these athletes as he does his tumbling skill. So let's just adjust him uh, by tapping on the mat toward the corner. So we can see that I've tapped on the grid here. Let's hit preview. Great. Round off back handspring. He's going to do it at bar one beat eight because that's where he finished his last move. Add the move. And now let's watch the whole routine. Okay, that looks really good. Let's have Carrie do the same thing only to the other angle. And we'll tap her to go over here. Next. And then preview. We'll see her do her skill. Great. Next. Bar one beat eight. So we know they're going to do it at the same exact time. So now we should see them all do a toe touch. And then those two do round off back handspring. Okay. Now, if we want to see what that looks like from the front, we can select camera two here. And let's go ahead and hit play again. Okay, great. So let's go back to camera one because it's a little bit easier to see from the top. Now, if you want to get closer to the athletes, you can adjust these cameras in and out, you know, uh, front, back, in and out. And those will help, you know, if, you, if you've got athletes that are very close together, you can use those to kind of position them, position the camera a little bit to make it easier to tap on them. Um, there's two ways to actually select an athlete as well. One is you can tap directly on the athlete, and the other is you can tap here on the athlete's icon up in the upper left, and then scroll down and say if you want to pick um, Anthony. Okay, so now Anthony is selected. All right, so that's how you pick athletes. Um, if you want to change your song, now if you're beginning and you don't, you're not a premiere member, you're only going to have access to the free music. So you've only got actually the first five songs you can choose. And then there's some other free music down here. Keep scrolling. Okay, right here. So let's go free song number six. And then if I play the routine, you can hear that it's different music. Okay, so you just keep adding uh, moves by selecting uh, the athletes that you want. Um, if you want a lot of them to do it at the same time, you can select multi-select. And um, we're going to do group stunts, partner stunts in another tutorial, but this is just to get you started building your first routine. Okay, listen, watch all the tutorials and you will become an expert at all of this. Thank you.